If you like this video, click on that subscribe button and be notified of more great ideas. We're going to be talking about repeatability, linearity, accuracy, and resolution, and how you can check out your micrometer if you don't have an expensive set of gauge blocks or gel blocks to do that. So let's go to the workshop and have a look. In order for you to have a good micrometer, it has to be repeatable, it has to be linear, and it has to be accurate. Repeatable is rather self-explanatory. When you measure the same artifact in the same place repeated times, it should give you the same answer. Now, it might not be the right answer, but at least it's the same answer. It has to be linear. So, uh, for example, a one inch micrometer is, uh, has a range of one inch. So it has to be repeatable within that range uh, wherever it might be, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, it has to be repeatable. Now, accurate just means that it, it is linear, repeatable, and gives you the right answer every time. So we're going to have a look at some of these micrometers. Well, if you don't have any gauge blocks, and gauge blocks can be quite expensive, there are other ways to roughly check out your micrometer and get it pretty close. If you happen to have one, two, three blocks, you put your micrometer across that. If it's a one inch mic, you put it across the one inch side. And you should read, of course, one inch. I don't know if we can see exactly. That's uh, pretty close to one inch there. Uh, if you have a dowel, this is a half inch dowel. Let me turn this on here and it's on that half inch dowel and we're reading a half an inch. Now this micrometer is reading try to get that in focus two thousandths of an inch. Now what we've got in here is a piece of parchment paper the kind of paper that you find in the kitchens used for cooking and I found that this is very closely regulated paper I've used several different kinds of parchment paper and it always measures two thousandths of an inch. So it's like a piece of shim and you can count on it to be pretty close to two thousandths of an inch and if your micrometer says it isn't then you have a problem. Now that can also be done with wax paper. Wax paper is consistently one thousandths of an inch. I've measured all kinds of wax paper and it's always one thousandths of an inch. So there's a way that you can check your micrometer to see if it's approximately right. Because, you know, we're probably talking within a, a tenth or two. The other thing that you don't want to confuse with repeatability, linearity, and accuracy is resolution. When you're looking to buy something, they may advertise that it has a resolution of five tenths. That doesn't mean it's accurate to within five tenths. It just means that the digital readout reads out in five tenths increments. So it's either zero, five tenths, or twice five tenths, or three times five tenths. It's the individual amounts that it actually reads out. And it doesn't really mean it's accurate to whatever the resolution is.